What is going on, Yankee fans? It is New York Sports Up here, and I am back at it with a, another New York Yankees post-game recap. This is not a post-series recap. I'm just going to talk about today's game and yesterday's game because we already won the series, so I guess you can call it a post-series video. But we're mainly going to talk about tonight's game. Tonight's game was an unbelievable game by Garrett Cole. We'll talk about that. After we talk about the opener, because we already won the series, I'll, I'll probably touch on uh, the final game of the series, probably in a video uh, during the All-Star break. I'll probably make a Yankee video talking about, like, uh, you know, trade candidates at the deadline the Yankees can go after if they buy, you know, players the Yankees can go after at the deadline to improve the team. I'll have a video, you know, about that pretty soon during the All-Star break, since the Yankees don't play, of course. I'll have a video about that. But for now, let's talk about this series in Houston. This was a crazy series. First, let's talk about game one. And the Yankees shut him out four to nothing. Nestor Cortez Jr., this guy is awesome. I mean, this guy is awesome. This has been a frustrating season overall for the Yankees, but Nestor Cortez Jr. has been a bright spot. He has been fantastic. He has a lower ERA than Jacob deGrom. What if I told you before the season that Nestor Cortez Jr. would have a lower ERA than Jacob deGrom? I don't care how many innings he's thrown. That's pretty funny to me. I mean, that is just crazy. Nestor Cortez has been phenomenal for this team. He went, what, four and two-thirds, um, like no runs, only a few hits, didn't walk many guys. He was awesome. Cortez was fantastic in his four and two-thirds. He was great. And then the bullpen, fantastic. Green was awesome. Loisago was lights out, who just went on the COVID IL, by the way. And I, I don't, did somebody pitch before Jad Green? I think there was another pitcher that pitched. I can't really remember. It was Lucas Lickey. Lucas Lickey came in and pitched an inning and a third. He was good uh, in his inning and a third of work. The bullpen and pitching overall was great in that game. And the Yankees got the win 4 nothing. Gardner the, with the big two-run double. Finally, Gardner came through with a hit. And then DJ LeMahieu with the big two-run double to break it open, give the Yankees a 4 nothing lead. Good job by the offense. They got timely hits when they needed to. And the pitching was outstanding. That's the reason why they won that game. And they, and they took the opener, 4 to nothing at, uh, at Minute Maid Park in Houston. They won, they won the opener, and the Yankees had a chance to win the series tonight with Garrett Cole on the mound. And boy, did Garrett Cole come through. He was amazing. I don't want to hear spider tack jokes anymore. I don't want to hear any slander of Garrett Cole about spider tack anymore. Because I was after that Red Sox start, I really thought Garrett Cole needed spider tack to be a dominant pitcher. Well, he just proved pretty much everyone wrong because he was outstanding. A complete game shutout through over 125 pitches. I think it was 129 pitches he threw. No runs, three hits, had 12 strikeouts. I think only had one walk. He was outstanding. That was one of the best starts I've seen since the no-hitter by Kluber. We have had some pretty good starts this year. Garrett Cole was just outstanding. He was fantastic. Garrett Cole is the ace of this team. Now, Nestor Cortez Jr. is pretty good. But Garrett Cole is just unbelievable. He is unbelievable. He still is the second best pitcher in baseball. Jacob DeGrom is the best, of course. But Garrett Cole is still unbelievable. He was fantastic and shut down his former team, the Houston Astros. You love to see it. Offense was bad. Offense was not good. We scored one run on an Aaron Judge solo shot. And it seems like Aaron Judge right now is the only guy that can produce for the Yankees right now. The bottom of the order is doing nothing. Sa Gary Sanchez has been in a slump. He didn't, play to, he didn't play tonight, but Gary Sanchez has been in a slump. Stanton's kind of been in a slump, too. Uh, you know, Voight's been playing well, but the offense hasn't really been clicking all that well outside of that one Seattle game. The, the, the offense has been bad this year, but, you know, they scored one run, and that was enough to win. With Garrett Cole on the mound, that's enough. So Yankees won the game one to nothing. Garrett Cole was outstanding in his nine innings. He was fantastic. I can't say fantastic, outstanding, terrific. I can't say that word enough because he deserves to hear it because he was awesome. And the offense was bad, but Aaron Judge, this guy's an MVP candidate. I mean, he might not win it because Shohei Otani is just a freak of nature, and Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is also really good, and he's going to be a stud for a long time. He's probably going to be a Hall of Famer. But Aaron Judge, man, this guy's fantastic. When this guy is fully healthy, when this guy's healthy for a full year, he is a top eight player in the league. Maybe even top five. I mean, you can make a debate. Aaron Judge is fantastic. Hit another home run, and I, I, I can't wait to talk about this. I don't know if anybody else noticed, but if, you, if, you, if you're on Twitter, if you're on Yankees Twitter, you probably are aware of this. Did you see when Aaron Judge rounded third base? Did you see him kind of pull this, like, kind of do this with his shirt? Well, because he was mocking Jose Altuve, because remember when he supposedly had a buzzer on him when he was crossing home plate to celebrate when he hit that walk-off homer two years ago off Chapman? Well, Aaron Judge kind of had a little fun with it and, you know, kind of did this with his shirt. I thought that was hilarious. I thought that was fantastic. Extend this man. Just for doing that, extend Aaron Judge right now. I don't care how old he is. 
Aaron Judge should be a Yankee for the rest of his career because it's obvious he just loves playing here and he loves being a Yankee. And we should consider even making him captain because he is fantastic. He's having a great season outside of 2017, which was his best year, of course. But this year, he was fantastic. And he's the real 2017 MVP, by the way. Um, the ninth inning was crazy, man. The ninth inning was awesome. It was intense. It was nerve-wracking. But Cole found a way to get out of it. Altuve hit the single. I was like, oh, geez, here we go. Chapman started warming up. He got Brantley to fly out. He won the battle. Then Alvarez, I'm sorry, it was Gurriel. Then he struck out on the check swing. That, that brings up Jordan Alvarez, who hit two home runs against Garrett Cole back when the Astros were in the Bronx. And he struck him out on three pitches. Garrett Cole blew him away like it was nothing. He was awesome. Garrett Cole was fantastic. I'm, I'm done saying that because I've said it so many times in this video. But it, it just needs to be said. He was awesome. And he struck out the very, very dangerous Jordan Alvarez, or Jordan Alvarez, whatever his name is, to finish the game. And you saw his interview was pretty funny, too. He was just completely just out of breath. He was, that, that was awesome. So Yankees win one to nothing. It was not easy like it never is, but they find a way to win the series. And we have a chance to sweep away Houston tomorrow. Jameson Tyone gets the ball against Framber Valdez for the, for the Astros. Valdez is having himself, is, you know, he's having himself a nice year. Tomorrow is not going to be easy, but we saw what Tyone did in his last start against the Mariners. He was great. Can he do it again? We'll have to wait and see. We have not given up a run this entire series. That, that's impeccable. Going up against this Houston offense, that is sensational. They haven't given up a run. The pitching has been awesome this series. Let's get better pitching tomorrow. We got Tyone on the mound, and let's get the sweep. All right, go Yankees.